have to understand. They're the most dangerous waves on the planet. Out here, you don't just get crushed. You die. You take a single wave like that, and you put yourself on the map. Is she gonna be okay? It's not worth getting hurt over. What are you trying to prove? No one thinks a girl can do this, and I'm gonna prove them wrong. I know how much this means to you. I just don't want you to spend your life wondering what could have been. Action! It's crazy. I mean, I almost died in that water a couple of times, or I thought I was gonna die. I knew it was gonna be a challenge to take a non-surfer and teach them how to surf. I had no idea how big the waves were gonna be and how I would really be put in the middle of the action. I wish everyone could experience it. Being a producer that surfs, I wanted surfers on the planet to say, this rocks, this is real. We decided we would move the movie to the mecca of all surfing, which is Pipeline on the North Shore. We wanted this film to be authentic, as did I, to thrust our girls not only into the world, but into the waves. And you have to come here. The culture is so pervasive here. If you're not into surfing, it's not the place you want to be. Everyone knows each other, and it's such a tight-knit community that there's no way you can blend in at all. This what? is a local spot. Hey, this place is for the boys. Guy the guys that live there and surf that place every day, they're not going to make you feel 100% welcome and just come and take their waves, you know what I mean? Why don't you just relax, brah? Brah? Drew? What you telling me, brah? Yes. Where are you from here, Drew, donkey? stop it. What's up? You want some of this? Drew, stop it. Stop it. Okay. Don't touch her. Drew, Drew, grow up. I got his wallet. Where are you? Let's go never had like a real, real surf movie that expresses the real lifestyles that these people lead. I think it helped that I was a surfer, both because I was fascinated with the sport and I was able to kind of infiltrate the culture. In this subculture, you're dealing with two ultimately life or death consequences. One is you can get hurt and you can die and people do. Then the subculture itself, underneath it, are these very rigid rules about when you can take off, and when you should paddle, and when you shouldn't paddle. And if you violate it, guys beat you up. We may beat up each other once in a while, get mad at each other once in a while, but I'll tell you what, if one of these guys are in trouble in town and they're about to get cleaned up, we'll fly down there and pick them up. You going back out there? Yup. Hey. Be careful. I think John did a really good job at capturing how real it is here. He hired a lot of local people. And I think that made everyone kind of like, oh, it's not just Hollywood coming to dominate the North Shore. They're actually embracing the culture and the environment. And I think that's what really made them embrace back. They put faith in my community, my friends. So I'm going to try and just do the best I can and have my friends help them out as much as they can. What, you think you can serve it for real? You know it. Whoa. It was important for me to make a movie in which a girl um, was able to realize her dreams and able to figure out how to balance these dual responsibilities of career and motherhood. Penny! What? No ditching. Okay. Someone's gotta go to college, honey. Not me. My character, Emery, she knows she's been forced into the mother role and she's had to give up her childhood. Leave me alone! I'm all you have right now! I don't want you! I don't care! I think that Penny is just upset that her mom left and she has to live with her sister. And like her sister has her own life too. Hey, so what's this I hear about you surfing the Pipe Masters? It's a surfing contest, not a drowning contest. Hey, why don't you stop hassling my girl? She's gonna dominate. Let's see what's gonna happen. She's afraid of entering this contest because she's had such a bad experience there. I was wondering if you've taught anybody. Taught anybody? Yeah, how to surf. You might want someone who's gentle. And you are? Not. There's an instant attraction between the two characters, a competitive sexual energy. It's just such an easy way out to fall for this really rich, wonderful guy. And her friends, it's easy for them to see what's really going on and say, look, you need to get your priorities right. 
You've worked very hard to get to where you are. Some guy thinks you look hot and you forget all about that. You gotta have those people in your life that push you. It's hard for anybody to do it alone. Just tell me what to do, please. Just be the girl I met on the beach. Who? Who was she? A girl who'd never ask a guy what to do. Hype is the deadliest wave in the world. Even amongst the professionals, there are very few girls who surf it. Pipeline becomes the ultimate contest for any man, and particularly a woman, just to survive it. Imagine the Niagara Falls dumping in two feet of water over hard rock lava with razor sharp reef and underwater cave. Oh, she's down. It's a sick feeling to like have this force that's so much greater and bigger than you, just taking you and pushing you down and you have no power over it whatsoever. Surfing is easy, surviving is hard. It's all about surviving. Everyone always says, okay, in order to do this, it has to be safe. If you go in the water, it has to be safe, okay? There is nothing safe in the ocean. There is risk involved. You here for the competition? You need to sign this release form? In the case of death or dismemberment. When you get a taste of it, it's almost addictive because you just want to conquer it. And you never will. That's why surfers will surf till the day they die. The fact that the consequences are so great makes it that much more of a rush. My first full length wave, man. They think you can't charge waves. You're going to prove them right or wrong. We had the best girl surfers in the world working on this film because I knew if we were going to do anything that had any credibility, I'd have to talk to them first. He wants it to be raw and like real, be an expression of who we are. <gasps> People actually get to feel what it's like to get wiped out and to be afraid and, and to feel the joy and to see like what it's like being inside of a barrel. It's great because it's finally like women surfing is getting seen on from all those angles. They seem to understand what it, it is like if you're a competitive surfer. During the course of filming, these girls really just took it to another level. And I think even the most sexist male surfers were impressed by what they pulled off. Unlike any other sport I had experienced, they actually cheer each other on. They really are family. Film technology has changed so much that you can now get inside the wave, you can get inside the physics of the water, inside that washing machine that is relentless and can kill you, and you feel it. Working in the water is a completely different beast. We found the most efficient way to shoot surfing is to have a guy swimming in the water with a camera. The ocean doesn't read the script. Dealing with the ocean, you can't think in the box. You have to think out of the box. It needs to be condition driven. It's insane. We're getting waves. When we're shooting, it's all sinking up. In professional surfing, it's like, you know, every day you wake up, you might be competing, you might not, you don't know, you have to go check in. That's kind of how the movie was, just chasing the conditions around and trying to get the shot. You saw it? Did you see it? No. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Having the water safety team was essential. It wasn't even like how important it was. Like without them, this movie wouldn't have been possible. If you don't get the best water patrol, someone dies, you have to think about that. If I'm putting my life on the line for you, then just tell me I'll be safe and I'll do whatever you want me to do. It's a big ocean out there and a lot of current and shallow, razor sharp bottom. If you were doing a traditional stunt movie, there would be all sorts of things you didn't see on camera. This, they were out there in bikinis. And that was it. It's freezing in there. <laughs> I feel like part of the polar bear club or something. It's amazing to see how swiftly and quick they are in the water. You, you definitely feel safe with them around, you know? 
All of my guys are such top athletic people, as well as professional um, EMS and lifesavers that it's second nature to them guys. They can be there in, in an eye blink. By the time you get up and try to yell help, you're already out of the water. <laughs> Come on, go! Come on, go, go! Paddle, paddle, paddle hard! Chadwick's in the perfect position. Paddle hard! Go! Paddle hard! Go! 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 This is it! This is yours! Don't pull back! Go! 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 This is the wave of the day. I gotta give big props to Michelle and Kate. Here's two actresses that knew nothing about surfing at all. I love a challenge. I'm a city girl. <laughs> the closest to that I've ever come is like the wave pool. Crash courses, it's all part of acting. That's what I love about it. You really get to learn the most important key elements of whatever it is you're making a movie about. Yeah! We understand how waves are created, where it's created from. So we give them that knowledge. had Kate out there paddling around at heavy pipeline and she was right there in the lineup and she could easily got caught inside and, and pounded. Yeah! I never really did panic. If I knew I was gonna wipe out, if I saw a really big set coming in, I knew I was gonna eat it. My whole outlook wasn't, oh my god, oh my god. I didn't tense, I just thought, here we go. They all have gotten worked, gotten held under, scraped up on the reef, tossed up on the beach, but that's part of being a surfer. I felt like they were my kids or something. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was screaming. Michelle's like, yeah! Every day is a new experience and an unbelievable experience and the best ride every day. I'm like, that was the best ride I've had. Imagine that when people walk out of the theater, they'll feel really inspired. They'll probably want to go and buy a surfboard. It's like being in a volcano and just something shooting you out. I can't explain it. It felt good. I think it just shows the strength and independence and real individual unique beauty of women. like that and you put yourself on the map. Female surfing is just going leaps and bounds. I love the fact that women are starting to come into it with a different perspective on it. We're not trying to compete with the men. We're just doing our own thing and it's a really beautiful thing. It's great because it's finally like women surfing is getting seen on from all those angles. A lot of pressure for a girl to take on sports and tackle these things that for years have been dominated by men. I definitely believe it's more pressure for a girl to do a man's sport. When I 
first started competing, I used to have to surf against the boys because there just was no girls that surf. These guys are for the big boys. What, you think you can surf it for real? You know it. I look at the young girls coming up now and they're just amazing. There's girls right now that are like nine, 10 years old that are ripping and it's blowing me away. Hey, Annika. Yeah, sure. Hey, I remember this shot. You surf? Yeah. Yeah. Once the girls' clothing line started kicking in, then there was like all this attention on women surfing. So a lot of girls started getting into it. We're learning how to build this like right type of the girls own. As well as things the guys do and their teams with how to do it. They're everything. They're amazing. They're amazing women. Fearless but they're just so graceful, and the movie raises everybody's awareness of, of female surfing, and seeing that girls are out in waves just as dangerous as the boys will make the world more aware of it and appreciate it more. We're all good friends, and we surf together, and we, we draw inspiration from each other. Hey, I'm Sanoi. I'm Jessica from Billabong. And we're gonna go shopping here in the Billabong store yeah. and check out some dope gear. So come, come on with on. us. Oh my god, yeah. I have to eat Charlie. Hello. Hi. This is some of the product we pulled from our new line. It wasn't in Blue Crush, not all of it, but some of it's very similar to what you might have seen in Blue Crush. It still has that same vibe. Well, this of course was in Blue Crush all over Blue Crush. The winning rash guard. Yes. Kate Bosworth's last moments in the film. For swimwear, this is an update to kind of the little surf shorts that Michelle Rodriguez wore. Really beautiful sort of watercolor look. Really simple. The ties are kind of similar to what I was wearing in the last scene too. Right. This is very Sonoy's character in the movie. Really, really pretty. You could wear it with bikini bottoms, mix and match I it. I love the back. Which yeah, never the back's gets seen. really beautiful. I like how it's all broken up. It's not just a solid yeah. string. Wear it with jeans, skirt, whatever. These bottoms I love. Yes. I love the cut on these bottoms. The little surf shorts or booty shorts. Really so great. my favorite. Functional. Good surfing top. Can you put on me? Very cute on you. And one of the big things in Blue Crush was definitely the mixing and matching with, you know, solid tops, different color bottoms. And so these two suits, you can see here, it reverses to the print or the red. This one reverses to a solid navy or royal, back to the light blue. This is one of my favorite suits. I just have to show you. This them. is actually this a very Sonoy suit, and she wore this like in the Lenny Kravitz video. A little skull and crossbow. Oh, and they throw the hat. Oh, it says Blue Crush. You guys see that? <laughs> <laughs> and this is really gorgeous. Mm. Uh, the embroider look, kind That's of cute. a little Mexican feel. And we mix this with a separate boy short bottom that comes with a little faux suede tie. So it's still really functional and sexy, but really fashion as well. See, I think this is really cute. The way they these tie like that. I like bottoms with little ties on right. the side. It's very really feminine. Colors. This is the one that I love right okay. there. This is a keeper here. And then of course the board shorts. Now girls. I know you think they wore boys wore shorts in the movie, but they didn't. They are similar to what you see guys wearing, but they're cut for girls' figures. We have a lower hip and waist on these. On a guy's board short, you're gonna have much more Velcro. It's really a lot more cumbersome, kind of mm -hmm. gets in your way. So these are definitely that kind of boy look, but cut for the girl's figure. about these little t-shirts. These definitely. I if, cut all my shirts up. Well, so. yes, Sonoy, cut, she customized this. Actually, my skirt, that's one thing I think is great about surf fashion is you kind of make it what you want it to be mm -hmm. for your personality. 
we get a lot of input from Sonoy and our team riders with the swimsuits mm -hmm. and it's like they surf in them and they're like, oh, could you change this or maybe this fabric would be good mm -hmm. or this sort of cut. So it's really cool because these girls travel all over the world and and they're basically our market research and yeah. product we development. travel in them, fly, drive, surf, lay I mean, on the beach. She basically wears a bikini every day of the year, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> and I love my bag. Bye. Thanks for shopping Bye. with us. We'll see you later. See you in the water. Oh, yeah. Do you like my new surfboard? Sonoy bought it for me. <laughs>
Arsenal. Heavy out there. Your girl got her head on straight this time. Does she? You know it. Yeah, like I said, it's pretty nice. Be careful. Don't worry about that. Ooh. I need my bigger board. That. Molly. It's fires out there today. The crowd's a little thick. You need to get out of your comfort zone anyway. Way straight for that. I'm fine. I'll start coming. You gotta get on if you're gonna be ready for that contest. Oh, gosh. What's up, hey, JJ? JJ? Crazy out there. It's got donuts. At least double overhead. Every day's triple overhead for you, little man. You're such a bitch, but oh. I like that. When are we gonna hook up? You're too young for me, look at you. What? I'm 17. What? I'm 22. What? You can buy the beers. Ah! <laughs> Good luck. Oh! oh. oh. Does that tell Carol? Yeah. Maybe it is a little bit too crowded for us. Yeah. You can go check sunset, it might be more mellow. Yeah, I think it's too big for you girls out here. Let's go. No doubt.
You're totally flirting with him. Who? Matt Tolman. Did you see that butt guy he was with? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Oh, Those freaking guys make at least $100 million a year. Who are you talking about? Matt Tolman. And his bodyguard Leslie Love. He's got the sweetest fire over the league, but he just can't scrabble for crap. I didn't even know who it was. <laughs> yeah, right. I thought I did. It's all right, don't worry about it. It's a little action anyway. Shut up! little girl. How old are you? Too old to be talking to you about my sex life. <laughs> this nasty girl. So, did you enjoy yourself? Did you get what I just said, man? You talking to me about that stuff? I meant surfing. Oh, surfing. Jeez, what were you thinking? Yeah, you know what I was thinking. Huh. Surfing is, is, is harder than it looks. I mean, all them sharks, I saw sharks calculating my weight, trying to just Find out how much they was gonna distribute to all their friends. I saw them paging <laughs> their friends. But I beat you to the shore. <laughs> yeah, but you and your sister are pretty good, man. Yeah. <laughs> She's really good. My hat's off. Yeah, she could be like the world's greatest surfer. She yeah. gets her shit together. <laughs> what happened to her? I don't know. She got scared. She got me. Let me yeah. tell you something, your sister's tough. The last week I've been cleaning up my room, mopping the floor. I was gonna paint it and decorate and everything. You? Yeah, I've been washing every <laughs> inch of that room. Your sister scared the hell out of I'm me. I'm gonna tell her. Don't, don't tell her that though. Yeah, she can handle you, trust me. She's a tough girl, man. You guys are both tough. Yeah, next week's is Pipe Masters. It's like the world's biggest surf contest. It's her last chance. I think she's gonna blow it. She's gonna blow it. Who determines who wins that? Judges. Like ice skating? No, no, no. It's about um, style, wave selection, length of the ride. You get points. See, that's stupid. You got somebody judging me on something they can't do. You see what I'm saying? They saying I wasn't good at something they can't do, so they gonna punish me because they can't do what I can do. Just give me a sport where you put the ball over the line more than the other team, then you win, then that's it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> How can you be an athlete, though? Yes, that's what athletes do. I'm an athlete. My checks say athlete. <laughs> but you're so freaking fat. The bigger the berry, the sweeter the juice. <laughs> I think your boobs are bigger than mine. I think you're probably right. You're just <laughs> jealous. You know why you're jealous? Because you can't do this. No. Why you make a dance? You do it, you just be moving your moving your skin like this, but I can <laughs> You just be going like this. <laughs> moving your neck. My mind be moving. I can do mine to the beat. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty. <laughs> you jealous, you wanna touch him, don't you? No. Uh, you yeah, yes you do. No. All right, maybe a little. I want to rub your belly. Stop this little nasty surf girl. She touching oh. me. <laughs> rub it. I want to wish. What's my wish? A wish. If you can wish for anything in the world, what would you wish for? Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> I'd wish for my mom to come back. Well, you know, if she came back, you would have to lose her again. That was so amazing. How big do you think it was? What? The wave I rode. Probably about one to two. Stories, right? Eight. No way! It was like twice my size! That thing was huge! Okay. Oh, whatever. <laughs> In Hawaii, we measured from the back of the wave, Minnesota. We like to underplay it here. 
Well, it was amazing. It was so cool. I almost died, but it was so cool. Thank you. You're welcome. So, I hear you're one of the best. Me? No. Yeah, Jimmy the Valley got the hotel, so you're like a junior surf champ. Serious? And then you got a real chance of winning the Pipe Masters this year. Oh, we'll see. Well, how'd you get so good? I'm not that good. You're good. I'm it's not. I promise. I just love it. When you paddle out, all that crap you left on shore just can't touch you. But my mom bailed. I used to paddle out to these random spots and just be all alone in the middle of the ocean. I saw sharks a couple times. Got worked a whole bunch of times. But I always felt so safe, you know, like right at home. So your mom just took off? Technically, she went out one night to get food for dinner. We're still waiting for her to come back. Yeah. Dad, where is he? My dad left when I was a baby. I never knew who he was. It's funny. Um, there's this legendary waterman, Greg Millett. He took Waimea when it was huge, like closing out big. It was amazing. He supposedly had this daughter he never met. I always thought maybe it was me. <laughs> like maybe Greg Millett was my dad. But then again, it could be that guy over there. Are you never know. <laughs> yeah, I see the resemblance. Thanks, that's really nice. Yeah, same bone structure. Oh, okay. Very nice ass. Can I do something to you? Maybe. <laughs> Make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> before in your eyes. Kalani Reed, ninth oh grade. Kalani Reed, you like them, not oh. me. Oh my gosh, she used to call you this little howly honey and you loved it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. I know I did. Oh my gosh, and you're the one who got beat up by freaking Lila Hokey because you kissed him at recess. No, don't worry about no, it. No, no, I got it, really. It's my job. I got it. Okay. Where do you want it? Um, just outside is fine. All right, looks like you had some fun last night, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, did you get out today? Yeah, I surfed Rockies this morning. It's okay. I got a few. That's good. But uh, I've been checking the weather maps lately, and it looks like pipe's gonna be good. Uh, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> just need your autograph. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You have a good one. Thank you. And uh, good luck at play.
guy told me to get my own life. 